Great day. Keith Russell Lee here, and welcome to Manifesting Your Destiny TV. I am Keith Russell Lee. I am Senior Minister and Spiritual Director of the Destiny Center for Spiritual Empowerment, best selling author, and business leader. And I'm really excited about today's lesson because today I'm going to be talking about your idea of God. Do you not realize that your idea of God really determines your life? It all depends on how big or small our God is. will determine how big or small our lives are. Our concept of God is the single most concept that really determines our lives. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Now, before I get into that, I do want to remind you, I do want to remind you, January 20th, which is Saturday, for the Saturday morning experience in the Washington, D.C. area, we will be meeting at a new location. That new location is the Northern Virginia Community College on 495 in the Annandale campus, the Annandale campus of the Northern Virginia Community College. Matter of fact, uh, that's off of 495, and we'll be there at 9.30 a.m., uh, our regular time to 11 o'clock, a powerful experience, so be ready. I got a great word, and uh, it's going to be a great time that we're going to really celebrate, but more than that, get the word inside of us. Now, also, I will be in Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, on the 25th. That's Thursday, the 25th, for the Philadelphia experience on the 25th, which is a Thursday evening at 7.30 p.m. I'll be announcing a little bit later the venue for that, but yet set your calendar and be a part of those two experiences because it's going to be a great time. Now, let me now get into this lesson today because again, your view of God determines your life. Your view of God determines your life. Now, in Numbers, the 13th chapter, there's a story of the children of Israel are on the precipices of the promised land. They're on the edge of the promised land. And the Lord it tells Moses to send out the spies to go into the land and to um, come back and to share the report of everything that is in the promised land. You know, the promised land was that land that was flowing with milk and honey. It was a land that everything that God had promised them that had everything. It was a land of of prosperity, abundance. It was the land of of great success. And matter of fact, in Deuteronomy 13, he says that I'm going to take you into houses that you did not build, vineyards that you did not have to plant, houses full of all good things that you didn't even have to work to put in there. And so now they're going into the promised land, these spies, right? Numbers the 13th chapter, they're going into the promised land and they come back with the fruits, if you will, of the land. And they come back and they share with Moses and the whole congregation of Israel that, yes, it is everything that God said it was. Here are the fruits. It's a wonderful place. Yes, it is a land flowing with milk and honey, prosperity and abundance and every good thing that you can desire. However, they came back, though, with an observation and a report. The observation and rec rather recommendation was this. But there are giants in the land, and, and we see ourselves as grasshoppers in their sight. Now, I want you to hear that. Here they are on the fringe of the promise that everything that God said it was going to be after spending years wandering in the wilderness, a uh, time of wandering in the wilderness, of, 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 of spending time in oppression. And here they are on the promised land, getting ready to walk in. And yet their view of God now kicks in and determines their future. See, my friend, Whatever and however you view God determines your life and your future. They said in the text that they that these were giants in the land and we saw ourselves as grasshoppers. That's their self-image, but if that was their self-image, how big was their God? Their God could not have been bigger than a locust. See, my friend, well, however we view ourselves is in direct relationship to how we view God. And how we view God, again, determines our life. 
And if we have a God that, well, the world is out here, the world is. And I hear this so many times when people talk about the world. They talk about, well, you know, the world is going to hell in a handbasket. You know, the politicians, the 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 the, the way of the crime, the violence. And they go on and on about, quote unquote, the world. When I'm saying, who is your God and how big is your God? Because the Bible shares, greater is he who dwells inside of you than he that is in the world. That's 1 John 4, 4. Greater is he. Jesus declared these words in John 14, 12. He says, if you have faith in me, if you believe in me, if you mentally accept these teachings and these principles, you will be doing those things that I have been doing and even greater things you will do. So now I ask you, how big is your God if you will allow the world and so-called all of these forces, which I believe are just illusory, to stop you and to impact you, to intimidate you, how big is really your God? You know, people, there are people that have dreams or people that, 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 that have had visions given to them that's upon their heart, but they have allowed the circumstances of life to be bigger than God. They have allowed the challenges of life to be bigger than God. They have allowed all of these things that have happened in their lives to be bigger than their God. And you've got to get to this point, folks, is that God is God Almighty. You know, one of the things that I talk about, and again, I'm going back to the basics from power, faith, and living. See, you've got to know who your God is. And I'm not talking about um, the God of slave religion and oppression. I'm not talking about um, my Sunday school God. I'm not talking about God somewhere up there that's in the ethers. I'm talking about you've got to believe and, and know the God that is inside of you. Because see, uh, that God up there somewhere, I don't know where that is, but I, but, but, but I do know the God that is within me. And matter of fact, that's the whole idea of the Holy Spirit that lives, moves, and dwells and has its being inside of you. The Holy Spirit is the full essence of God that is within us. It's the resident presence and power of God within you. The kingdom of heaven is within you. And that is why it is important for you to know the power of God. See, if I don't know the power of God that is within me, I'll never know the power of me. And I want you to hear that. If I never know the power of God that is within me, I will never know the power of me. Because, again, I go back and I share. My self-concept, my self-image is directly connected to the concept and the image that I have of my God. And if my God is playing second fiddle to some little red dude with some little red fork and some pitchfork, and, and oh, you know, we are running around like, runaway slaves being afraid when we have freedom and liberty, yes, and I went there this morning, then how big is your God, Christian? How big is your God? If we're worried about resources, this is why I can't do being broke. I can't do being, well, we going through rough sides of the mountain. We going through this and that and other. My God is the creator of heaven and earth. My God made this heaven and earth. He he, he has a cattle on a thousand hills. He has the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So why do I, as his child, have to beg, buy, and scrape and get by and try to figure this thing out when I am his child? Matter of fact, in Psalm 82, he says that, that the ye are gods, for you are children of the Most High God. And so, therefore, how come uh, we, 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 we are still talking about... Um, you know, Satan and his kingdom and Armageddon and all of those other things, folks. We've got to come to an empowered view of God, an empowered view of God within who we are. And that will inform our lives. You've got to know that God is all that there is. There's no situation, circumstance, or spot where God is not. You've got to know that in God, you are complete whole. And let me go there again. You are perfect. Do you not realize that you are created and made in the likeness and in the image of an almighty God? 
and everything that God made was good and very good. Do you not realize that you are perfect? That was why Jesus declared and, and, and it admonished us to be perfect, even as our Father in heaven is perfect, because your spiritual DNA is perfect. You are a perfect being created and made in the likeness and the image of an almighty God. But guess what? If I go around talking about, well, you know, it ain't no perfect person other than Jesus. Well, you know, I still trying to get it together. Man, you're 60 years old, still trying to get it together. And sometimes there is going to be a point where you understand the God in you and you got it together. That's what this is all about. You've got to have an empowered view of God and operate, as I've been talking about, in this God consciousness and operate in the truth and in the power of the God conscious. Understanding, understanding that God is, is, is spirit and God's spirit lives inside of you, that, that, that God is boundless energy in that spirit that is that goes beyond even this universe. That, that And I'm in page 35 talking about the attributes of God, that God is spirit. He is, cre he is the creative life force who is in all and is all. God is the source of all of life. God is love and God is life. See, you can't be disempowered and have that kind of view of God. You can't be disempowered and have that view of yourself with the God inside of you. And that is what I want to encourage you to be able to really come present to that. See, as long as I'm still thinking God up there, out there somewhere, I'll never walk in the fullness of all that God has made me to be because I forfeit the power of God that is within me. Oh, man, I wish I had more time today. I wish I had more time today. But see, these are the things in my book, the 14 principles of power, faith and living that I talk about. And I want to pick this up tomorrow where I want to be talking about, again, that power of understanding, embracing and understanding that God is within you. And for you to walk in the fullness and the power of God and to know you've got a big God. And so therefore you do life big. You do life huge. All right. Well, listen, don't forget. Don't forget. January what? 20, January 20th at 9.30 a.m. for the Saturday morning experience. The Destiny Center for Spiritual Empowerment Saturday morning experience is moving to a new location, the Northern Virginia Community College in the Annandale campus in Northern Virginia in Annandale off of 495 at 9.30 a.m. 9.30 a.m. I'm going to be sending out some invitations in regards to that, some reminders, but also I will be in Philadelphia on the 25th, Thursday the 25th for the Philadelphia Experience. Come on, be a part of that and uh, mark your calendars for 7.30 on that evening, right? And I'll be sending out some notices in regards to that as well. Location to be announced today. And anyway, listen, until next time, live with faith and power and continue to create that phenomenal life. I am Keith Russell Lee saying until next time.